Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys about the comparison operators in Java. So what are these comparison operators and when they are used? So whenever you have to compare some values, for example, let's say you want to compare your age with a certain value. Let's say whether your age is less than 18 or, you know, whether your age is greater than 18, you know, something like that. So at that time, we can use the comparison operators available in Java. So what are the comparison operators that are available in Java? We have the less than, we have the greater than, we have less than equal to, we have greater than equal to, we have equal to and not equal to. So these are the comparison operators which are available in Java and these are very widely used. So the next thing is, you know, how to use this comparison operators in our program. So all of you know that, you know, operators are the one which are going to work on the operands. So here, when we use this comparison operators, we need to have certain operands on which this operator should work. So let's say you want to compare whether the 10 is less than 8. So the result is false. 10 is not less than 8. So here, 10 and 8 are the operands and this less than is the operator, you know, which is a comparison operator. So when you use the comparison operator on operands, the result produced is going to be either true or false. Only two values. It can be true or it can be false. Here in this case, 10 is not less than 8 and that's why the result of this operation is going to be false. So similarly, we can use uh, greater than here, you know, whether 10 is greater than 8, which is true and result of this operation is going to be true. And uh, similarly, let's say you want to compare whether 10 is is equal to 10, 10 is equal to 10, you know, the result is true. Let's say you want to compare 10 is equal to 8, false, and uh, 10 is not equal to 8, true, like this. All right, the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is, you know, how to use these operators in our programs. So let's get started. As I told you before, you know, when we use the comparison operators, the result is going to be a Boolean value. So what we can do is uh, we can create a Boolean variable here to store that result and let's call it as result. So we're not going to store any values in that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to perform a comparison operation. For example, let's say, you know, 100 is less than or equal to 95. So here 100 less than or equal to 95 is going to produce a Boolean value or, you know, the outcome of this operation is going to be a Boolean value. So what we can do is we can store that value in this result variable. So I'm going to write result equal to 100 less than or equal to 95. And then we're just going to print it out. So it's going to be system dot out dot print line. And you know, I'm just going to refer the variable result. I'm going to save this and I'm going to run this program. You guys can see false 100 is not less than or equal to 95. So here, you know, instead of this 195, we can have the variables. So let me create two variables and let's say num1 and let's initialize this one to 100 and uh, num2, let's initialize this one to 95. So now, you know, we can use these variables instead of these values here. So it's going to be num1 and num2. And uh, if I run this program, it's going to be false. So now, you know, we're going to use the other operators. So first I'm going to teach you about the greater than operator. So when you use this greater than operator, you know, it's going to check whether this num1 is greater than the num2. If it is so, it's going to return true, else it's going to return false. So I'm just going to run this. You guys can see we get true. So I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to paste it in the next line. And what we can do is we can perform this operation right here in this inside this print line. So now we're going to use the less than symbol. So it's going to be whether num1 is less than num2, you know, which is uh, 100 is less than 95 false. So it's going to be false in the second statement. And then we have the comparison operators like uh, I'm just going to copy this. And then we have another comparison operator, you know, less than or equal to. And if I run this, it's going to return false. 
and if I paste it again and change this one to greater than or equal to you know which is another comparison operator available and you know, which is which results true that's because you know 100 is greater than or equal to 95 and we have uh, equal to so whether num1 equal to num2 make sure that you use this equal to symbol twice as a comparison operator so if you use only one it's going to be assignment operator and if you use two equal to symbol then it's going to be comparison operator just remember that so here let's change this num1 and num2 to a value of 100 and let's run this you guys can see we get true so when we use this greater than symbol here you know this 100 is equal to 100 you know which is not greater than 100 that's why it returns false and then here you know 100 is not less than 100 it is equal to 100 that's why it returns false and then 100 is less than or equal to 100 so it results in true you know 100 is greater than or equal to 100 and that's why it results in true all right the last comparison operator that is remaining is the not equal to so i'm just gonna copy that and paste it here now we're gonna use the not equal to whether this 100 is not equal to 100 now it, it's gonna be false in this case you know it's gonna results false and if i write any other value 10 and if i run that you guys can see it result true because you know 100 is not equal to 10 and that's why it returns true so this is it guys this is about the comparison operators which are available in java and and you know whenever you use the comparison operators with the operands you know the result of that operation is going to be a boolean value in java and these comparison operators are widely used while making the decisions in your programs and i'm going to teach you that in the upcoming tutorials and also you know when you use this a comparison operator equal to make sure that you use the equal to symbol twice else if you use only one equal to symbol then it's going to be then it's going to be an assignment operator and the meaning will be entirely different so this is it guys this is about the comparison operator thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm going to put the source code of this tutorial in my web blog learninglateducation.blogspot.com you guys can go there and copy the source code and i have given all the source code of my c++ and java tutorial in that and i'll see you in the next tutorial